Welcome back to my workshop. Uh, this week I'm in the middle of a refurb in my workshop, so everything's a disaster. Um, but in the meantime, I bought a new toy for the workshop um, and I thought I'd do a quick unboxing uh, to see what you think. And the new toy is one of these. So, I ordered this off of Amazon, um, so simply did a search here for Amazon. Let's find out how much it was. Uh, it's this one. I just did a search for a Triton. And here it is. Right, it's £169, allegedly. It used to be £210. Uh, they also sell this in screw fix. Um, so that's the one I've got. So let's get a box open. Right, I've got a knife. Let's see what we've got in here. Probably should have done this on the floor. Uh, okay, we've got belt sander assembly, some bobbins. Some sanding. Inserts. Very expensive looking spanner. A knob. More spindles. All right, let's get a bag off. Mm. Okay, so this looks like it's it. I haven't read the instructions. Uh, I'm assuming this insert goes in here. And the bobbins. Rubber. So it looks like on the front here, looks like we've got inserts for all of these. Excellent. Um, now I presume these moving closer. So it looks like these inserts here. Yeah, no slot there. And then the spindle goes on there. Maybe a small one. Okay. 
Doesn't seem too difficult. Get some of these open. Yeah, so it looks like there isn't a rubber insert for this one. This one goes straight onto the spindle. It's good. Put these out of the way for now. Okay, a little knob. Teeny tiny washer. Better read the instructions. So, in the instructions, it says one of them, one of them, and by the pictures. Okay. No. Okay, well that looks like that. Uh, let's plug it in. It looks like all of these inserts got their own little places. Find out what they're for. Belt sander. I thought of everything. Okay, so yeah. That looks like there's a guard here or an end stop. So let me get a bit of wood. Please wood. You can use it like this. 
stops it flying off over there. Okay, quick test try. Yeah. Well, it goes round and it goes up and down. Um, let's put some wood on it. Well, it does what you'd expect. It goes round, it goes up and down, and it sounds wood. <sighs> right, let's see how quick we can change. Uh, spanner. Probably should turn it off. this thing maybe okay this one back in here uh, insert in here take this out of the back this goes where this was We've got these, not too sure. Not too big. Maybe. Mm, okay. Right. Now it looks like this lug has to slot into here. Okay. Which it does. Ah. To turn it so it slots down. Because there's teeth here. Make sure they locate. Um, looks like this has got a collar on it, so let's use this little fella. Secure. Turns around. <sighs> uh, right. Ah, looks like this. Change that a little bit. This one here. Releases the belt. Yeah. It's directions arrows on the belt here. Slip this on. Lock it into place. I presume this one here is for the tracking. So let's try. Quick test try first. Don't forget to plug it in. Ready?
So it looks like the uh, tracking, or it looks like the belt is very temperamental. Teeny tiny little adjustment on the tracking, um, and the belt moves quite a bit. Um, let's give it a close up on that. Ready? Okay, in theory, that shouldn't change. Once you've set it up, it shouldn't change unless you change the belt. Uh, just noticed, which way's the belt going? Okay, belt is going this way. And the arrows are going the other way. Now that's exactly how it came out of the box. So that's something to look for. I don't think it makes a great deal of difference, um, but we'll put it right. Okay. Okay, check it again. Okay, you can see the belt's a little bit frayed here. That's when I first started it up, the tracking sent the belt down and it obviously rubbed on something underneath. Uh, let's sand a bit of wood. Okay, mm, yeah, quite a nice finish. Obviously that's dependent on the belt that you're gonna use. Uh, this is the one that comes with it. Um, doesn't seem too bad. Seconds, seconds that took. Okay, dust, look at this. So what we'll do is we'll try again. Let's assess the uh, dust situation. Uh, what have we got? Is there any dust extraction? Mm-hmm. Here it is. Can we see? All right, the saw has some extraction. So, down my extract. Uh, let's clean this off and have a look. Okay, this time with the extraction on. It's like a standard fitting, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, extractor on.
So marginal improvement, uh, there's still some here, but you're sanding, you're going to get this. Um, it looks like it has taken some of the dust away. Um, yeah, so probably not the best, um, but for the price, pretty good. Um, it basically it does what it says on the tin. I wanted a sander. And this one sands. Uh, so what I need to do now is make a stand for it. Okay, um, I've had a quick look for the instructions to find out what well, this tiny washer and this little bit bigger washer are for. Uh, but the instructions don't really show you much. Uh, I probably haven't read them properly. Uh, but I'm assuming that for the big spindle, use the big washer. For the medium spindle, use the medium washer, etc. etc. That's all I can think. So I'm quite happy with that. That's how I shall use it. Let's put these all back. It's very good the way they've arranged this. You shouldn't lose anything. Right, there's another function I'd like to show you. Uh, the table, this table itself, actually tilts. Um, let's get a good shot here. Okay, on this section here, it tilts in varying degrees and it locates, there's a little tang there. Move this here. This little thing here. Okay. Now it looks like this fits into various different positions, various different angles. 45, can't read it because my eyes are bad, 30, 22.5, etc, etc. Uh, you do it by unscrewing the knobs on the other side. Push the tang out of the way and push the table to the angle you want. Okay, tighten the knobs on both sides. Okay, so now we have a tilted table. Uh, let's give it a quick try. Obviously, it didn't turn my dust extractor on. Um, okay, yeah, relatively impressive. Uh, yeah, it's got its uses. I should imagine if you're beveling, beveling an edge. It'll have its uses, uh, definitely. Obviously take a bit more care when you're doing it. Um, you should get some good results. Unscrew the knobs, release the team, pull it back up into its best position. Okay, you're back flat again. Uh, yeah, just a quick check. Need that there a sec. And 
teeny tiny little square. Don't know if you can see anything on there. Yeah. yeah it's quite vertical. Okay, obviously the best way to test that would be to sand a decent piece of wood and then measure it afterwards. Right, all I've got to do is make the stand and use it. Okay. Okay, so that was a quick unboxing and a quick uh, first try of the Triton 450 watt. Oscillating the spindle and belt sander. Um, looks like it's going to be a good bit of kit. Um, if I have any issues with it, then what I'll do is I'll another, do another quick video uh, just to let you know how I get on. But I think for the price, uh, this is probably going to be um, good value. Uh, I won't be using it every day. At the moment, I'm using my lathe with a sanding disc on it. Uh, so this should be a vast improvement. Um, okay, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any comments, uh, leave them below. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. See you for the next video. Bye.